G'day guys, Carla from Everyday Travel, in the garage, with a different big girl this time. Damo's new rig. Brand spanking new V6 twin turbo petrol Raptor Ranger. And this thing is bloody impressive. The thing that everyone's going to want to know is what does it sound like? And it's no V8, but it still sounds bloody unreal. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. <laughs> as much as I hate to admit it, it actually walks away from the patrol. This thing is fast, bloody fast. In our fashion, day one, modifying it, not stuffing around. So, already got a set of 35s on it, set of method, uh, I think they're 312s, bronze Nitto trail grapplers, 35, 12.5, R18. These wheels and tyres did actually come off the last Raptor. These are a 9 inch wide wheel, plus 18, 12 and a half inch wide tyre. I believe the Raptor has Pos 50, 55 from standard. So as you can see, we do poke the guards a little bit. We'll see if we have any trouble from Highway Patrol, but it's not bad fitment. In all honesty, probably a Pos 30 would be a better fitment. A little bit of scrub in the front. So naturally, we got to work on it to make them fit. So I'll show you the other side, but basically we cut a block out here, took the honeycomb block out from behind the guard, cut the edge of the wheel arch flares, I guess you call them flares. The body, we bent that up and then just sprayed it black. This big honeycomb block sits behind the wheel arch at the back, behind the inner guard. Inner guard, all we can do is zip it back. So once it's zipped back, then this edge here, basically we're just gonna cut from there to there. And we run a line, and then we bend the body back. With the body bent back, it'll actually hold, pin the inner guard back out of the way. That's how we're gonna clear these big tires. How are you doing there, mate? Drawing your hair. Well, take an okay with the Raptor. It doesn't need to announce itself. <laughs> it's probably got enough presence without them big ridiculous oh, stickers. I think so, so we're going to peel the stickers. It always blows me away. Such a nice car and they wreck it with stickers. Also, one of the other things we did, I'll show you the front. It actually had this big dicky number plate holder on it sticking up. I think that might have been because of the radar that's tucked in under there. We've got some line plates on it, so we'll see how she goes. Hopefully with a little bit of luck, it doesn't affect the radar, but once we get all this clearance done, we'll take it for a lap and then we'll see what happens. Do you need the oscillator at the moment? No. Nah. Good, because you haven't got power. Okay. Cut that edge on an angle, so we still retain the bottom bolt retain that little wedge there which will help for rigidity and then once we cut that bit of plastic out this bit of metal we're just going to shift up bend it down bend it up and then that will actually help hold the guard back and then we just spray that black and it tidies it up so now you can see we've got the body exposed so we'll bend that down and then bend her up <laughs> What are, you, what are you doing there, buddy? Oh, I'm just thinking about, because I, I do use my trailer. Well, living where you live, I reckon you put that fucking thing in there and it would be gone. Oh, baby. Right, that is... Oh, a little more on that side. Pushed pin. Clearance for days. So just pretty that up now. Ooh, baby, nice clean back panels now. It's looking good. The tie shine will have the guards because they have other wheel stick yet. Oh, we removed the mud guards too, but we removed the mud guards at Ford before we even left. Oh, lovely. Clearance, yep. I like the uh, interior, I like the textures. I don't know, look out patrol. I can see myself in one of those. I like the black interior too, it's so nice. What's your thoughts? Well, uh, now that it's not 
haven't got any scrubbing because it'll get to full block. It's, fucking, it's unreal. It's awesome. What do you reckon? Feels Don't. a little bit nicer than the old one. Yeah. Um, steers nice, has all sorts of things, and then you know you go. And she's away. That is quick. Yeah, that's quick. With yeah. 35s. It is fast. It is even on 35s. It is fast. Actually, put it in sport mode. I don't want to be the first person to get booked in this thing. That's your problem. That's Holy fuck! See what I mean? That. My that's like I drive on on. <laughs> <laughs> Destination change. We got the old bonnet bracket for the UHF aerial, and we were a little bit hopeful that it would fit on this, but being realistic, different, completely restyled front end. So the old GMF bracket does not transfer to the Gen 2 Raptor Ranger, but what we found is you've got these little plates, and then little plates, you got holes. And uh, it turns out, that hole is the perfect size for the GME Stumpy 2.1 DBI. That sits good though. Like, look at the back of the U. Up, out of the way of the cab, so if it does get hung up and flick back and forth, it's not hitting the cab. What have we got? We're looking at 25, 30 centimeters from the back of the cab. Let's so say, looking down the side of the car, don't even notice it. That's the spot. Yeah, right, easiest way to mount the two, eh? So, fuse box under the dash, add a circuit, add a fuse. Literally, that's why it's a power lift. Two way, pull one of these, plug one of these in. It's actually a couple of spares in here, too, so I'd suggest they're powered. We'll put a nut on that and earth it down there, and that's job done. All right, we've got the base just tucked away under the carpet. Enough slack on our cord that we can reach our cord, and then we have to find somewhere to mount the handpiece. So, I don't really want to drill any holes in there. But if we get some good double side tape, stick that there, then we'll mirror up out of the way. New versus old. So, um, decent sized tyres, but BFG's notoriously small, Nitto's notoriously big. Oh, wait up. Well, it fits. Yeah, just keep going and see how it goes. It's squaring itself up, it actually fits. Not hidden? Is that? Nah. I feel like I'm at the top. You are. Got the centimetre on the guard on this side. How much you got on that side? Sorry. It's like your. Yeah, centimetre on the guard. That's fine. On the, oh, that's on the guard? Oh, on the guard. That's a heat, heat shield. shield. Yeah, so that fits. Got about a centimetre between here, right? So this watts link just goes up and down up and moves. Up and moves. down, yep. Right, so that's not going to roll back or anything. Uh, if anything, the way these trailing arms work, as she comes up, it's going to want to pull the diff forward. And as it goes down, it'll want to pull the diff back a little bit, but... That is a 35 spare under that bar. What do we got? Probably, I don't know, two inches, three inches of tyre hanging down. That's beautiful. And that is stance for days. Thirty-fives fit on a stock Gen 2 Raptor Ranger. The power of this thing, you don't even know they're on there. It's amazing to drive. We managed to get that 35-inch spare underneath. That's unreal too. The two-way, man, all done. We need to mount that handpiece, but I think that area will come up pretty sleek. Looking at where it sits, that's bloody good. The sun's a bit terrible, but that's the stance of her. Probably needs a leveling kit. We might look at doing some springs in the front, try and get that front up. Domo said he's not going to lift the back of this one, so I think that's the right decision. Looking at the center of them wheels, just where they sit, the center of the hub sits below the guard, so I think this is the right decision. Jack the front a little bit. The fronts, well, we got that cut done. I think it might need a little bit of trimming when we put new rubber on it, but we'll sort that out when it gets new rubber. Overall, I think it was a successful day. What do you reckon? You happy? Yeah, mate. She's mad now. That is good. That is some fat stance from a standard 4B. 
I still reckon that silver at the front needs to be wrapped in aligned. I think we need to wrap to that black. Uh, let Damo know what you think in the comments. As always, love to hear your thoughts and opinions. So you like the new Raptor Ranger, the twin turbo V6, towers up the patrol, it's quicker. <laughs> Do you want to see more Gen 2 Raptor Ranger content? Let me know. This thing, it is unreal. I, I'm in love with it. I think the patrol's at risk here. Anyway, until next time, go travel.